I would like to bring to people's notice that currently they have a lot of anti hacking related materials outside they are definitely working on the best things right now let me show you here is the anti cheat measures that have been been taken we are constantly exploring new methods to combat cheaters and ensure an enjoyable experience for all players our team will be actively monitoring the game around the clock to detect and take action against cheaters on a daily basis Additionally we will share updates on our progress periodically if you encounter cheating behavior in the game please don't hesitate to report the system simply we identified several players using scripting tools to cheat all right so these anti cheat measures if you want to see where they are putting these aap aap dekhna chahoge na you would like to see where they are actually uploading these anti cheat measures and stuff so and people think they are they are cheating in the game there are people who are cheating in the game etc for honor of kings news okay so let me let me bring this to your notice guys if you ever think that the game is been sending out information which is wrong or is saying how where can you check up on these uh, anti cheat measures that you are talking about Can you see this is 2024-06-23, which means just just three days ago they had sent out this anti-cheat measures, and if you go to the anti-cheat measures, you can see. See, we would like to gently remind you: never use illegal third-party software. Such behavior will result in severe punishment. Do not engage in any form of legal transactions. If you purchase content illegally from third party, no compensation may be provided. Only download or updates of the game from official websites are authorized. Keep your account for informative, private, and do not share it with the others. Attachment of list of penal penalized players. This is a partial list, only a partial list, not the whole list. A partial list. So these are all the people who have been banned. These bans are for the script users. This is ten year ban, and these are bans from the leaderboard. All right. If you want to see how frequently they are sending out these anti cheat measures. So the last one we got was from twenty four zero six twenty three. If you scroll down a little, you will see there is another anti cheat measure. This is on tenth, which means just ten days, almost a week later. So this is on twenty three, and this is on number ten. And you will see again anti cheat measures will come in all news. So this is literally weekly basis they are creating ten year ban, ten year ban, ten year ban, and this is again a partial list. they have almost given out 17 names over here as the list if you go back again and you check again in the anti cheat list you have another on the 26th which is another week later so this is weekly weekly updates on the people of who are cheating and they are banning them on the banning system welcome to the monks plays channel nks please hit like button nks all right i will bring a new news to you this is something that you guys have not noticed this is the recent developer talk that has happened okay i will also be putting up the these are shorts videos so please have a look at that also anyway listen up devs face to face with the hok developers about player matchmaking mechanism you guys want to know right what is matchmaking how do matchmaking how do you how do they put in matchmaking and everything so this is for you guys for people who think that you are getting bad matchmaking this is matchmaking is broken they will give me conqueror players with uh, you know regular players and blah 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 you know things like that so this is for you guys this information is for you guys hey everyone i'm altwin i'm from the game developer team question 1 player in the in the same match are supposed to be from roughly the same tier but sometimes you encounter really good players on the other side who clearly should be in a different tier it it kind of feels like unfair no how would you deal with such a situation we are aware of how it can affect the fairness of the matchmaking of your experience to be honest it's a problem that you see in all competitive games i also encounter smurfing in the past and i know how bad it feels it sometimes it's something that we take very seriously and we have several counteractive measures to be placed against it. first we seek to identify these smurf accounts this can be done by checking if multiple accounts have been accessed from the same device we also check if the player demonstrates a skill level that exceeds their current during the matches so smurf accounts are also being checked by the hok team just for your info guys 
If you got double accounts, smurf accounts, they are being checked by Choki team. Do not think otherwise. Players in the match are supposed to be formed from roughly the same tier, but sometimes you encounter really good players on the other side. Exactly what Lumberjack had said, who clearly should be on a different tier. It kind of feels unfair. Once we confirm that an account is guilty of smurfing, we place it in a different matchmaking pool, away from players with the more normal skill level. There may be some culprits who slip through our net, but I assure you that we are doing everything we can to prevent smurfs from negatively impacting the game fairness. So smurf accounts could also get banned for 180 days, remember that. If you guys are using smurf accounts, you might even get the 180 day ban, so please be careful about it. We keep conti we'll continue to keep close watch on the game's matchmaking environment. We also acknowledge that some new HOK players may be genuine, more skilled at the game, and we will progressively implement features that allow them to reach higher tiers more quickly, so as to prevent them from affecting the fairness of lower tier matches. I'm playing duo with my friend, and I'm a diamond tier, while he's gold tier. How will the matchmaking work if members? So the answer is by the developer team is. Members in a pre-made team belong to different tiers. We assess the team's overall skill level based on the number of players belonging to each tier. Which means if you had a gold tier level and this thing, you were thinking that the gold tier level players will come in the lobby more and more than the above than the uh, diamond players or the master tier team. No, that is not the case. The system will also prioritize ma matchmaking players whose tiers are close to each other. For duo matchmaking, we take advantage of those two tiers. In trio, we list the players ranked from highest to lowest. For duo matchmaking, we take uh, we take the average of the two player tiers. There is a platinum and there is a go uh, there is a diamond. We take the average, which means we take the mid uh, of the we'll take the platinum tier. So gold, diamond, we'll take the platinum tier as average and and push in players with the platinum tiers for the matchmaking. In trio, we list the players ranks. From the higher. So you, when you are joining, a gold tier will obviously join with platinum ranks. Diamond tier players will not join you in your matchmaking. If you have a gold match, a gold tier, diamond tier, so you will be joined with three other platinum tier rating uh, people. We will list the player ranks from the highest to the lowest if it's a three TO and weigh them 50%, 30%, and 15% respectively. If you are joining with a uh, with three players, the rest of the two will get weighted average tier and they will use for matchmaking. For a full party matchmaking, the highest tier player will take up 70% priority in the team. So 70% priority will be given to the team members in the enemy team lobby. So currently if I take an, I take an example of the, of the people in my team, you know, so if in my team there is the highest is master one, which is duty. So master one right now will be 70% in the enemy lobbies. Okay. The rest of them will be taken as a uh, this thing. So I can, if I'm playing with duty as a master one tier, I will be following with throughout master one lobby players only against them with a five man queue, not with a three man queue or a two man queue. So if you want to, uh, if you want to really truly play the game on a difficulty hard mode, go for five man tier lobbies. If you want to truly play the game on a mid range uh, hard mode. Go for trio lobbies. If you really want to not uh, play really hard mode games, go for a dual lobby or a solo game to push. Solo game, anyway, you realize you are gold, you might get gold only or a gold and one above. But dual tier and triple tier is the clarity that I wanted to provide to you today. How about if I'm playing solo? Will I encounter players who are playing duo or trio? Don't worry, the system will prioritize matchmaking with you with solo players. Solo players will only be matched with duo or trios if matchmaking takes too long. Furthermore, if full party players are almost always matched against other full party players, but so solo players will never be matched against full party. That is a great thing for solo players right now. You don't have to be worried about getting at all any kind of solo players in, trio, in, in five man queue. All right. So the epilogue says that this is the episode. Well, listen up there. If you still have questions, if you want answered, let me know, leaving a comment. Your feedback and opinions will be important. Focus on the questions concerning cheat preventing, 
नेक्स्ट एपिसोड इज गोइंग टू बी फोकसिंग ऑन क्वेश्चन कंसर्निंग चीट प्रिवेंटिंग होप टू सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम सो आई होप यू गाइज understand that there are lot of cheats and related issues i have cleared both the cheating as well as the matchmaking concerns the next episode will be on the cheat making so stay tuned with the the twitter twitter handle of honor of kings global handle which is at the rate honor of kings you will get your information and uh, let's get on to the gaming sessions i will see you guys in the game